Well, good morning, and it's Sunday. A very cloudy day here in Orlando. And I do believe we're gonna get some showers, but that doesn't bother me or stop me from doing whatever I'm doing. I just came out the shower. As you know, I like to take two, three hours in the shower, grooming myself and stuff like that. Well, I should say in the bathroom. I do stay in the shower for a long time, but, you know, I like to take care of my body. So, you know, I just want to do a follow-up on the hemorrhoids I spoke about before in another video. I had one on the rear end of my anus, and I have good news. It is gone. It fell off. It disappeared. And what I use, I use hemorrhoidal suppositories. That's the one you insert into your anus. But it's wise to use it at night. And you have to be consistent with it. Use it every night. Don't just start one day and then stop and then go back again when you feel like it. You have to keep using it. And... The hemorrhoidal cream. That's right. This cream right here, it does wonders. You just take a, a little bit on the tip of your finger and you just, you know, like rub it, not hard. Just put it on the hemorrhoid or you can even use a Q-tip. Make sure it's covered and believe it or not this stuff works because you know me I do not like any kind of growth or anything on my body and I was petrified that I would have to get surgery done or whatever you know what I'm saying it wasn't hurting or nothing like that but just knowing that I had that on there it was just driving me insane so you know I spoke with my doctors and stuff like that so I was prescribed the hemorrhoidal cream and uh, suppositories and I've been using it and thank God Almighty a couple of days ago you know I checked myself because I always do and to my surprise it was gone I don't know when it fell off I don't know I just know that the last time I checked it was there and like three, four days ago, I checked and it is gone, gone. No bleeding, nothing. No pain, nothing. It's gone. So I am so grateful. So for those of you that suffer with hemorrhoids, you know, go to your doctors and stuff and try to get some kind of hemorrhoidal solution, cream, whatever, to get rid of them, you know what I'm saying? Because these things I was told can grow very large and they can be painful and you have to get surgery done. Some people don't have insurance for that. So try to take care of it while it's young, you know what I'm saying? It was like the tip of my pinky finger, the size of the tip of my pinky finger. And it was growing because it was smaller than that. So I'm glad that it's gone. I pray it don't come back. I'm going to try to eat the right fruits and stuff that I'm supposed to eat so I can't get that. And, you know, from growing older, I was told from sitting on hard surfaces and stuff like that, you get them. I don't know how true that is because I Googled it and it didn't say anything about that. But I'm still not going to be propping my butt on no hard surfaces or nothing like that. And another thing, I do have one on the inside. Like when I did my colonoscopy, you know, I was told it's not very, it's not big and it's not hurting, but hopefully, I don't know if the hemorrhoid suppository helps with that, but when I go back to see my doctor at the VA in April, you know, I'll get a follow up on that, but right now I'm not like really worried about it you know I'm not having no pains or nothing like that but another thing um 
the cyst that comes out on my face. You know, I went to the dermatologist finally. And, you know, a nice lady, she told me I was suffering with hormonal acne. So, as you can see, it's clearing up. I'm glad that I went to her. She prescribed me this medication right here. Um, you know, this is how you use it. It's the liquid in here, and it has like this soft sponge right here, and you just take it, and you just go like this on the area where those hormonal acne are. And you just put it on twice a day. And you know me, I'm persistent. I make sure I use this stuff. And I also put them on the ingrown hair, on the ingrown hairs under my chin. Because sometimes the hormonal acne comes out over there too. So as you can see, it smells like alcohol but it's, it doesn't burn and it's working people, it's working. This is the name. You have to get this, for, it has to be by prescription only. You can't go out and buy it. So for those of you that's suffering with any kind of acne, you should go to the dermatologist and find out what kind of acne it is. It could be hormonal. You know, hormonal comes up when you're getting up there in age. And, you know, your body is changing and stuff like that. Then they have the sebaceous acne. You know, I thought that's what it was. So I was buying and using different stuff. And it wasn't helping me at all because they were still coming out. They come out in big, big bumps. And then they disappear. And then they leave this this mark on your face, you know, a dark mark on your face. And I don't like that because I never suffered with acne when I was growing up. And, you know, my face was nice and clean and clear. And now that I'm at this age, I'm in my 60s now, you know, all of a sudden this stuff is out, you know, and I don't like it, you know. I'm not the prettiest thing out there, you know, but I do have some looks, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I don't like my face looking all bumpy or the dark marks or whatever. So, you know, I'm making sure that I take care of that. Also, she prescribed me some pills to take for it. Um, the name of it is S-P-I-R. I don't have my glasses on. C-I-N-O-L-A-C-T-O-N-E. That's 50 milligrams. These, I take one at night. They have, it has side effects to it, you know, like, like, um, blurry, drowsy or whatever, but I don't get any of, I don't get no side effects. I take one every night. As a matter of fact, I didn't take last night or the night before. I completely forgot, but I have to get my brain together and make sure I take one every night. And I was also given... A cream, I will tell you the name right now. This cream is to take away the dark marks that's on my face. It's called T-R-E-T-I-N-O-I-N. -E -I so, you know, you have to get it by prescription and the pharmacy that she told me about, you know, I had to call them, but they called me first and I put in my order for it. And this, this thing costs 30 bucks. I don't know the size of it. I'll see it when I get, when it get to my house, cause it's on its way here, but it really doesn't matter. You see, going to the dermatologist does have positive effects for your skin. Don't go out there wasting your money buying all these other products thinking that you're helping the problem because sometimes you're not. You're making it worse. So just think positive and 
go to a dermatologist and check yourself out. You know what I'm saying? Especially your face and stuff. And this is for a YouTuber. Um, I was watch. I watch him sometimes, and it seems like he has the same problem with his face. Um. I don't remember his name right now. I wrote it down because I was going to look him up. I usually watch him on YouTube on my TV. But anyway, he lives in L.A., nice-looking, handsome young man. He works in the nursing field. Anyway, um, I'm happy that you and your, you and your partner is going to be moving in together. Everything is going to work well because the two of y'all look very good together. Anyway, getting back to the subject, you was just talking about the problem that you have on your face. You get those kind of marks and bumps and stuff. I don't know if yours is hormonal. It might be, but I remember you saying you buy your trying stuff on the outside before you go spending money to a dermatologist or something like that. I suggest you go to a dermatologist, young man, and get the right stuff for your problem because if you're like me it doesn't seem like it's getting better or it's going away so you should just listen to a fool and go to the dermatologist instead of spending your money buying all that other stuff you know what i'm saying if you really want to get rid of it so um i can't remember his name right now but it'll come back to me and um this right here, this is Hum, H-U-M. This is for belly fat. I purchased this myself. They sell it at CVS, Walmart, Walgreens. It's for your tummy. Flatter me. You know, I've been using these. And I noticed a change in my tummy also. But also, you have to exercise too. And eat lots of fruits and not put too much, too much of everything in your tummy. You know what I'm saying? And this right here, this is a firming cream. Collagen firming, firming oil. Um, it, it tightens, it tones. Maybe you could see it. I can't see it. I don't have my glasses on. But anyway, this is good. It's a serum, not a cream. Collagen Firming Serum. It is really good. I've been using it. I first bought this from, from Ross. See? Firming Serum. I first bought it from Ross some time back. So you know me. I'm always picking up. I don't just pick up one. I pick up two or three or four items. So I picked up two. I've been using this every morning. Every night I put some, I squeeze a little in my palm, in the palm of my hand and I rub my hands together and I make a circular motion on my tummy area and if I have any little fat over on this side, I do that too. So you know it's working. You can use it on your arms if your arms are kind of flabby or stuff like that. Some I put a little here on my face, you know, because hair is getting a little chubby chubby. You know, and you can put it under your neck, around your neck, you know. And on your legs, places that you see that needs firming, you know what I'm saying? And it's not just for people that's getting older. It's for people in general, you know. Some people are heavier than some. So, you know, your body stretches you know what i'm saying so it's good to use these kind of firming stuff i'm not into the creams because i perspire a lot so i don't mind using the serum you know i have another bottle and i left that over at my daughter's house you know what i'm saying i took one over there because when i buy stuff i take some stuff to her house as i said she don't really like me bringing a whole bunch of stuff to her house but i just take certain stuff you know because my granddaughters are there and everything they're getting older and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so um, you know me, always sharing. So, I just want you folks to have a beautiful Sunday, wherever you are. If it's cold, stay warm. 
you know, eat, eat something, put something in your stomach, you know what I'm saying? Um, just have a good day. Just enjoy your day. And I'm going to get back to my grooming right now. Let me turn on the ear because I'm getting kind of warm in here. And I don't like having the AC on. Anyway, it's not that hot outside to have it on anyway, but I'm not an AC person. I put it on once in a while, but not really. Not that I'm worrying about the light bill because my light bill is fine. But you know me. I have to have natural air so you know I leave the windows open you know I love that and you know um I just want to say enjoy your day enjoy the rest of the weekend because it's just about over it goes by so fast so this is Ju dash I saying peace out for now people love you guys Take care of yourselves. Love one another. Stop hating. Stop fighting. Stop all these wars and stuff like that. Megan Stallion. Megan the Stallion. And Miss Trini. Please. Stop with the beef. Stop with the beef. What's up? Um... My Beijing queen, Riri, and her husband. How are the family doing? I love you, girl. I love that performance you did over there in India. You know what I'm saying, girl? No matter what you wear, you are still the queen. You look beautiful in everything that you wear. So keep it up. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. And may God bless all of you. And collage, congratulations again. I love you guys. Keep on doing the good work that you're doing. And maybe, hopefully, there's more people out there that will think and do the same. Bye now.